So I go to the paint shop, and there's a couple of these cans sitting on the counter. And I'm like, what's up with those? And they say that somebody ordered colors and never picked them up. And that they're on sale. This right. And I picked out three. They gave me all a bunch of shit. Like all these wood sticks and all these cups and this filter shit. They just gave me all. Sanded to 600. Uh, tacked off. Like use a tack cloth. Uh, I guess it's time to lay primer. I got the gun set up to where it uh, shoots consistently 30 PSI. See? So yeah, and I got the regulator down here set at like 80. So this is going to be fun as hell. Not really small compressor. Here we go. 4 to 1, 2K urethane service primer. It's what I can get for cheap. Hell yeah, about half the car is primered. I mean, the gun's spitting all right. The compressor takes a long time and I have to be really patient, but it's working and it's not gonna be great. I'm probably gonna sand more, but it's happening. Whole car is primered. I need to wet sand 600 and then base coat? So I wrinkled black the uh, tray where the rear license plate sits and it didn't wrinkle all the way, so. I'm gonna hit it with some more wrinkle black and see if it works. These kind of came out alright. We'll see where these go soon. And I also wrinkle black this thing. But you'll have to see how that comes out. It's not, it needs more. So you felt that last night, right? Yeah. Yeah. So come check it out. I just wet sanded with. So this is what you did? Yeah. Isn't that a crazy difference? Oh, that's a big difference. Yeah, it's a huge difference, huh? I thought you did the roof. I was like, that's the same. I know, that's why I was. I know, exactly. So okay, I, was, yeah. I was trying to show you the difference. But that's crazy, it huh? It's like a freshly painted uh, house wall. Yeah, it's like still some. A little bit. You can feel a little bit of orange peel. But it's like the tiniest bit. Maybe I'll do, I'm gonna finish the whole car and then we'll decide where we go from there, but I needed to do the whole car. I just did the fenders, the bumper, and the headlight bracket so far. For the rack, I also need new lower ball joints, but uh, I got the stuff. Wet sanding is complete. That was a nightmare, but it's gonna be worth it. This is ready for, the actual chassis is ready for base coat now. Now I have to primer all this. I have to do some stuff to this. I'll show you like put studs. I'm gonna JB weld some bolts right there for studs. And I wanna do some cool stuff with the bottom of the hood, but the procedure I'm having trouble with is figuring out when to paint it, because I need to do the top of the hood too, and the top of the hood's more important, so. I think I'll just do the bottom, the, the bottom of the hood, base coat, do the thing I'm gonna do, and then clear coat it before I even start on the other side of the hood. Yeah, I gotta prep this and this wing. Damn, that came out actually hella good. Another coat of wrinkle black, so hopefully it's more wrinkly. And then uh, these two. Also, this trim piece is taped off. Uh, hopefully it actually wrinkles. Fire Owl S12. You win the first sticker giveaway. Because you're <laughs> Mr. Nimbus. <laughs> yeah, I get that reference. But, uh, future, uh, giving stickers away. I'll show you which stickers. All you gotta do is comment on this video, anything, and I'll just pick somebody. And then uh, we gotta get in contact with each other on Instagram, at Nimbus underscore Drift. And I'll get your address and send you a sticker. So, fire out. DM me on Instagram as soon as you see this and we'll get your address or a mailing address and I'll send you out a sticker and you can pick one of the ones. Yee. So Fire Al, just hit me up and let me know which one of these you want. Everyone else, if you want to enter to win one of these stickers, like the video, leave a comment, make sure you're subscribed and then shoot a DM on Instagram at Nimbus underscore Drift and we'll get you entered. So this came out looking like shit. So I'm probably gonna have to hit it with another coat of Uncle Black. Which sucks because that shit's like 15 bucks a can, but it is what it is. 
God damn it. All right, I did a little work on the wing. I know this is improper, but I JB welded some bolts on it so I could mount it better on the car. And then I did a little body work right here, a little bondo where it cracked. A little bit right here with the kind of see. And then sanded 150, 220, 320, wet sanded 600, and yeah, now it's here. So that's all prepped. So I tried to do some dumb shit with some color and some primer, and it didn't work out. So this is just gonna be primer now. The under the hood is what I mean. I wanna sand it a little bit, cause yeah, it's got some grain to it. Bottom of the hood has been wet sanded with 600. It's not gonna look great. This hood is basically doomed. It's got rust. So I'm just gonna do some dumb shit with it. So I busted out the sticker collection and put my favorites here. And I'm gonna do something kind of risky and clear over them to see how that goes. Some of you are gonna recognize some of these stickers. Oh yeah. So the clear didn't come out perfect, but it's okay, it's under the hood, and it gave me an idea of what it's like to clay spray, uh, spray clear, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, if you guys want to enter in the sticker giveaway, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, etc, etc. Thank you for all the support. Stay tuned to uh, the auto blah blah algorithm things, whatever, cool, yeah, check it out. We're gonna put that one in there to make the second tone. Because that one and that one are too similar. So we're gonna darken that one with this one because we have more of that one and less of that one.